Another thing that we gained by leaving the toxic church and the dysfunctional families that we were part of is um, we did lose a lot of lifelong friends, especially myself, because I had been in that church group for my entire life. And so there were people there who knew me from childhood, which is part of the reason the betrayal of having so few people reach out to me from that group was so huge, because there were people who should have known me better. They've known me all my life from babyhood, and they just didn't know me well enough or were not courageous enough to reach out and say, wow, this is a huge decision you've made and what happened because we never thought you'd go this way. Like, I didn't have anyone reach out to me like that. Um, not, not no one, but I can count on one hand <laughs> how many people actually reached out and said, wow, something must have really happened for you to take this drastic of an action. But when we left, we left, I left many friends who had been my friends since childhood. And that was really hard. But the good that I've discovered from that is that those who did stay, those who have chosen to connect, even in the midst of this huge crisis we went through, they're like family. I have a few friends who, I have um, a couple friends who I've been friends with from childhood, um, from our high school years, from early college years, and from parent groups I've been a part of. And each of those, there haven't been many friends who stayed with us through those things, but those who have, I wouldn't hesitate to trust my life to them in an instant because I know they're really there for me and I hope they know that we're there for them too and that's the kind of friend I'm trying to be to them as well and that was something that really is striking about making a huge life choice like we did is you discover who the real friends are who the real family is and it's usually not who you think it is and sometimes it is but quite often you discover it's not who you think it's going to be and but those who have stayed with us through this who are still our friends now I know they're real friends. The other thing that we've discovered is that the new friends that we're making, we can make friends more carefully and more deliberately. And the friends that we're making now, they're the friends who are okay with growth and change. They're the friends who want to keep improving and keep doing things better. We're, the friends that we're making now are people who don't feel like they've arrived, who aren't resting on the group that they're a part of, the family that they're a part of, to say that they are doing the right thing. No, they're, they're constantly looking for how to improve and how to do things better in a way that is more honoring to God and that more clearly demonstrates Christian love. And those are the kinds of friends I want to have. And so that's been something that has been a benefit that I hadn't expected and it's a neat way that, and these are the people who are reaching into our lives now and helping us, and even though they don't know our whole story, even though they don't, they haven't walked through all of this with us, they've seen our character and our behavior enough to recognize that they are, like Anne Shirley says in um, Anne of Green Gables, they're kindred spirits. They're going the same direction in life and they're just looking for people to walk with them in it. And that's what we have found. And it's been so worthwhile.